I hear him. There we go. You got oh hey. I got a little cocky. Now don't I get any loot from them? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Small Land Survive the Wilds. This game came out on March 29th, 2023. I have not played it yet. This will be my first look. It is currently for sale on Steam at $24.99 US. So I'm super excited about this game. I've watched a little bit of video. Again, I haven't played it yet, but I'm excited. And what I've seen, I really like. Uh, your first thought is grounded compared to grounded a lot this game is. But uh, I think it's got enough on its own to make it its own game. So we're going to get in and check it out. So let's hit play. New character, of course. All right, so we can rotate our character. Pretty cool looking guy, little antenna he's got on his head. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with this a whole lot. We can be male or female. Male regular, gentle, male strong. I'm just going to go with the regular ear. I don't care too much about the beard stuff. Antenna color, we could change that to purple, orange, red, green. I'm going to go with teal. That's the closest to blue they have. We could change, uh, we could have long hair. We'll just stick with short hair, hair color, eyes. Quite a bit of options here. Eyes color. We'll go with the dark blue eyes skin color. Let's go with the fair skin. I don't like pale so much. There we go. And face markings. Actually, I'm going to go with the no beard. There we go. All right. Your game will be available for other players to join. Um, we're not going to be online. Peaceful mode. Creatures will not attack you, but will fight back if attacked. So that can be selected. Uh, I'm going to just go with the regular mode. Day cycle, minutes and day. Um, what's our options here? 30 is the default. Let's go 45. We'll have a few more minutes in the day. I like that better. Season cycle, creature health, uh, creature health multiplier, creature damage. I'm going to leave all this at default for now. Uh, the fall damage is pretty big. I have heard probably the biggest complaint is fall damage. So I think I'm going to turn that down. Let's turn that down a little bit and we'll see if that helps if we do accidentally fall. Alright, I like that. Uh, let's hit create. Intrepid Vanguards, your queen is ill. Gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I'm asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure. Whatever the cost. Be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King Valdemar's speech to the Vanguard Corps. Alright, here we go. Alright, so our stats over there on the bottom left. We got our health, we got hunger, comfortable stat. We got eight hot slots. F is interact. F hold auto pickup. Left ship is sprint. Space bar is jump. And C is crouch. I believe there is a... Yeah, that V is like... Um, oh, like a, some type of auto sense type. Alright, let's go along. There's a tutorial. Uh, control is to roll. Hey, buddy. Greetings, I've been tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows as I have crucial information to, to input. Keep a keen eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Outside you'll find Captain Hearn. He will help you in your first day outside the burrows. Thank you. Alright, so these owls... The overland is rich with natural resources and food and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools. So be sure to learn the best tool for the job. 
press V to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvest resources much easier, okay? So we already tried that. So it looks like... Okay, so it just repeats. Um, I saw they had green eyes. I think it looks like if you... After you click on them, their eyes go out. Alright. So F is... Okay, hold... F hold auto pickup. Okay, that makes sense. I don't like to have to do it twice. So I'm just going to hold F. Can we do anything with these barrels? It doesn't look like it. So I'm just picking up everything. What's this? Resin. Uh, okay, so we're unlocking stuff. Pet whistle, fire arrow, at workbench. We're unlocking stuff as we go. Uh, tab is inventory. Okay. Wood club. Simple bandage. Nice. Mushroom steak. Oh, it's got little icons. That's a weapon. Uh, medical. Food. Wood. This is all resources. We got our stats over here. We're well nourished. We are sheltered. Uh, there is armor in the game. This is our current beginner armor. Uh, looks like this is going to be our main weapon. Maybe we have a helmet. And right hand, left hand. Alright, so looks like we can... Already have a weapon, wood club. How do I equip that? Okay, I just right clicked. There we go, okay. Wow, the game looks beautiful. There's already been a couple updates. Again, this game came out on March 29th. There's already been a couple updates already, so that's awesome. Alright, I'm just going to gather all this stuff. I'm sure I'm going to need it. Do we have a weight limit? Does it look like we have a weight limit? Yeah, so when I equipped my club, it puts it right here. Uh, all the weapons have stats. That's awesome. And they also have a durability. Crafting. Wood hatchet. Okay, we can already... Let's, let's go ahead and craft that. Uh, wood club. Builder's hammer. And a torch. Alright, that's what we can start out with crafting. I'm sure with the workbench, there's more. Uh, the map. We can zoom in and out, of course. There's Hearn. Okay, this is kind of like a journal, I believe. And codex. Alright, just various. We can find out information about all this good stuff. Alright, cool. Alright, here's another owl. When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged in your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. Press tab to open the inventory and select the com compendium section to see all the hints and tips that owl effigies have already revealed to you. Okay, so we already looked at that. Uh, a really nice tutorial to start out with. I mean, really great, you know, for total beginners. Press tab to open the inventory and select the codex to help keep track of all the workstations and items you can craft at each. You can also check on which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Okay? Okay, we can't do anything with that stuff. I'm gathering everything that I can because uh, you just never know what you're going to need out there. The game looks awesome. I mean, it really does. All right, let's see what this owl says. The Burrows is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate, with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere. Okay, uh, There are mounts in the game. There are some flying mounts. There's, um, of course, ground mounts. Hey guys, my wife could make a mean pixie omelet. <laughs> All right, uh, food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Okay, very nice. This guy's just working away. All you need for speedy repairs is a good builder's hammer. All right. 
Mold, mold everywhere. So these guys just chit chat. Here's Sentinel Cower. Make sure to search out these owl effigies for useful information. Okay. Already knew that. Wait, did I miss one? I don't think so. Okay, I can't loot any of that. What do we got here? Oh, he's cooking a mushroom. Well, that's funny. Now we got a couch over there. Good luck in the Overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. Alright. May the sacred owl be with you, Vanguard. Alright, so I guess we're getting ready to leave headquarters, what it looks like. I wonder if we can come back here. That's cool. Uh, I do know you do not get in the water. If you fall in the water, you, I think, pretty much die. Have you heard about the queen? I pray to the sacred owl she makes a full recovery. She must be hurt. Oh yeah, that was the intro. Be careful, Vanguard. There are some nasty creatures out there. Okay. So yeah, I, I do know if you uh, if you fall in the water, you're I think you're pretty much dead. Again, do we have a weight limit here? We can only carry 30. It looks like it says 17 out of 30. So there's only so much we can carry. All right, we're getting close to head out and brave the wild world. I wish I wasn't on night watch duty. The overland is a dangerous enough place during the day. Yeah. Captain Hearn is stations downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself to him. Okay. All right, I guess he's down there somewhere. All right. Okay, here's another owl. Uh, can I just get, yeah, I get all this wood. <laughs> yeah, game was cool. I'm getting all this. I want to be able to build something early on. Hopefully this video, we get to our, our first base, we'll see. Looks like it does have autosave, okay. All right, if we do the V thing. Oh, yeah, I got wood over here. Twigs. Oh, that's cool. It names it. Okay. We'll come back and talk to the elves here in a minute. I want to get all this wood. I guess I can't use those mushrooms. You can lose health due to a variety of factors, being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from great height, or being malnourished. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished, or sleeping. Uh, let's see, can I make a, can I make a bandage yet? Oh, I have two. Okay, wait. No, just, just stay there. Crafting. Uh, I bet I have to make that from the workbench. Let's go ahead and make a torch. Builder's hammer. And a hatchet. We can make everything. Alright, cool. Now, how do I put it in my slots? Oh, we made two hatchets. Accidentally. That's okay. They have durability, so it'll wear away. But how do I slot this stuff? Campfire unlocked, workbench, simple bed, simple chest. Oh, here we go. I'm so sorry. We want our... Builder's hammer. We want this in slot one. Let's put our hatchet two. And we'll put our... Hammer in three. And our torch in four for now. And our bandage, let's put over here in eight. All right, that's simple enough. We got a little food here. We're doing okay so far. Well, we're getting pretty low, actually. All right, let's see what this other owl says. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it comes low, becomes low, and manage it carefully to not leave yourself vulnerable. Okay. Uh, control is to roll forward. 
Let me make sure I didn't miss any resources back there. Doesn't look like it. Press M to open up the map and see your position in the overland. The map will show you the location of other vanguards. Your spawn location, your gravestones, and any custom markers you add. By selecting a marker, you can make it appear on the compass at the top of your screen. Alright. Uh, oh, this looks like this must be our day. Probably goes left to right. Okay. I don't know how we... S what did it say about selecting a marker? Did it show up? Show up on our HUD. Yep, right there. Okay, cool. Alright. Very cool. Oh, what that say? Track... Left click the track, add remove marker, zoom in and out. Okay. Alright, that's all pretty basic stuff. Alright, let's get on down here. Uh, let's see, let's get these resources. Yeah, we got. Alright, here's another owl. Small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and food can be crafted out of the materials of the overland. Find crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. Typically, you will need a crafting station to craft new items, but every Vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Open the crafting menu with G to see which items you can craft from the get-go. Alright, we've already done that. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. We need to eat something. Can I just eat Yep, you can right-click. Okay. That gave us quite a bit. There's Hearn. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Hernus Manicaba, Manicaba, Manicabi, I don't know. But most small folks simply call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Uh, can I ask you some questions? Can you craft some armor for me, Captain? I was told to report to you for my assignment. Thank you, Captain. I'm ready to go. Which tools should I craft? How to build myself a shelter? Or can I find food? Food all around you. Um... You just have to learn what can be eaten while it can't. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here. Alright, so our builder's hammer probably opens up options. Alright, so he can't... Hearn can craft us some, some uh, armor right now. If we have the proper materials. We can do light gauntlets. Padded bracers. Oh, for the cold. I don't have a fiber for that. Uh, let's go ahead and have him craft this. I don't know what I'm, if I'm supposed what I'm supposed to do first, but he can craft that for us. All right, so let's go ahead and equip that. So I just right click. That's nice. I wonder if we can sell this stuff later on or tear it down or whatever. I'm not sure. All right, so he basically just told us a little more of the tutorial. Uh, I think I've got it, everything. See what this owl says. Make sure to eat and drink regularly. Being well nourished will make you more resilient and energetic as well as stronger in combat. You can find delicious berries in the forest, hunt creatures of the overland for food, or even cook your own meals. You can eat food raw or prepare it and prepare it and other consumables using different types of cooking stations for a wide range of benefits. Keep an eye out for tasty recipes. All right. Now, what if he sells this? Oh, I'm just going to take him. I feel like he offered that to us free. Maybe. I don't know what that is. Oh, I missed an owl here. Armor provides protection against different types of damage. It can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the overland have the expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. So he can make armor for us. He's right here on the map. Hearn. So we'll have to remember he can always make he can make us more armor if we bring in the right materials, which we have more here. Uh, let's see. We've got gauntlets. Let's see if there's anything else he can make for us. Yeah, give me some armor. Uh, we need more fiber. Alright, we'll just come back to him when we get more fiber. Alright. Uh, how are we looking on daylight? We're okay. We did extend the daylight. That's right. We extended the daylight a little bit, so we should be good to go. Um, so yeah, I'm, now I'm kind of looking for where I want to put the first base. Alright, so he said, he talked about the hammer. 
uh, if we hit three, open placement options. All right, what can we make? Campfire, workbench, simple bed, and a simple chest. Okay, awesome. Uh, foundations, building. Look at all these options already. Very nice. Decorations. I've I've heard that the building is really good. At this, so that's awesome. So now we just gotta find a, uh, you know, find where we want to put down our first base. And I think I know. I uh, some of the video that I've watched. I'm gonna go back and see if we can make any if he can make us any more armor. Okay, we can make leggings. Can't make a chest piece yet. We can make pants. Alright, so we got pants. There we go. Gives us a different look. Now, what do we do with the old stuff? I don't know. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go on. I think this is auto saving. I think I saw it save. Saving is definitely simple enough. All right. So I again, the video that I watched, there are some really. Uh, it's pretty cool the way they did the base building. They have this tree that you can climb up. Don't go in the water. Stay away from deep water. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you will respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. A tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory. Okay? So, again, let's don't go in the water. Alright, I've got all kinds of sprouts here. And I think these do respawn, from what I've read. Seems like the resources are there's plenty around so far anyway. All right, let's talk to this guy. Temperature will generally drop at night and raise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures of the Overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. Watch out, as night creatures are usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point and have a place to sleep. You can only sleep at night, and for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered. There must be no hostile creatures around. All right. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go. This kind of looks like a cave. Uh, we'll we'll uh, let's peek our head in there and see. I don't know what all this resin is going to be used for, but I'm getting all of it that I can. poke our head in here, see what it looks like. Kind of looks a little creepy. Now, can I break these down? What about with my axe? Okay. this guy hello oh he's the elder vanguard finally you're here oh, i got an achievement for that elder what are you doing in the overgrown cave the jeweled clover key that unlocks the apocalypse chest has gone missing i fear it may have been stolen we're here trying to find some other means of opening okay so this is just like a quest what's in the quest the elixir of life okay Ah oh, yes, we received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Alright, so that's basically just part of the story. Uh, they're trying to find this key chest. Is 
Is this the chest they're talking about, maybe? Walnut chest, examine. It looks like a chest made out of a walnut. On the back, there are hinges. On the front, it has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Try to open the chest. You try to force open the chest, but it won't budge. Examine the cavity. You run your hand over the foul four-leaf clover cavity. The bottom section moves slightly when you press it. Push the button on the bottom of the cavity. Nothing happens. Okay. All right. So we got to find a key. Sometime, somewhere. That's what that's what they're doing here. All right. Let's get out of here and go back the other way. I'm sure we will. He's got all kinds of stuff going here. I'm sure we'll come see you later on, Elder. At some point. All right. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, going left to right, looks like. Well, I'm not sure if this arrow move or just this moves. I'm not sure. Well, resin seems to be pretty plentiful. How much do we have? We have... Oh, okay. We're stacking it up. I hope it's very useful for something because I'm getting all that I can. How about these mushrooms? Can I cut these down? Oh yeah, edible mushroom. Cool. Now does that automatically go in my inventory? Mushroom steak. Blackberries. Yeah, we need to eat. Okay. Again, do these color in my inventory automatically? I don't see them. Okay, I gotta pick it up after I chop it down. There we go. Alright, they gotta be cooked. I think. I chop it down, I gotta pick them up. Does it say they're gonna be cooked? Tasty and nutritious, a small folk favorite. These mushrooms grow back faster after the rain. Can heal, and they are good for nourishment. Okay. Alright, good to know. I wonder if those butterflies can attack me. There's the big owl. Big owl. Okay. What's this over here? More resin. Yeah, the butterflies attack me? I'm not sure. It's getting dark. That's not good. So if I craft a bed here, or a foundation, I think I'd rather do that. I don't want to. I don't want to take this on at night. So what I'm saying is, if I craft a, if I craft a foundation here. Can I pick it up later, maybe? Let's try that. So let's get our hammer out. Three. A foundation. Can I just put it anywhere? Yeah. And where's my bed? Simple bed. All right, and can I just sleep? Activate spawn point. Use. You need to be sheltered to sleep. Oh. Are you kidding me? I gotta have a whole wall around me? 
All right, let's see if we can just do this real quick. Uh, rotate. Middle mouse button, simple enough. Okay, that's clearly outside. Why does that not snap? Alright, and then let's see if we do have just a flat roof. Leaves roof. Alright, let's see if that'll let us sleep. Yep, you fall in a deep slumber, getting some shut eye. You feel rested and hungry. Oh, we definitely need to eat. Okay. So, can we eat these raw edible mushroom? They don't give us very much food, though. Probably more if we cooked them. All right, let's go ahead and eat this steak. That gives us a lot more food. Yeah, and then we're going to. I bet those butterflies can attack. I don't know. Now, what I'm curious about, can I pick this up later? Like, can I pick this bed up? If I get my hammer back out... Dismantle C. Probably should have given me my resources back. I think it does. Oh, yeah. I can pick it up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Gives you resources back. Very nice. Thank you, developers. Alright, so now we're going to... I'm going to save. Let's go over here. Oh, here's another owl. Precipitation, such as rain or snow, can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed to protect them from the elements. Rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow back faster after you harvest them. Furthermore, weather affects temperature, so be sure to always wear the appropriate clothes. Alright, I wonder if I should just continue down this path, make sure we get all the owl advice. Here's another owl. There are five distinct weapon types your vanguard can wield. Blunt, edge, piercing, poison, and fire. The creatures you encounter in the overland have different strengths and weaknesses. When it comes to each, pay attention to the icon next to their health bar, which determines which weapon type will be more effective. So they have an icon next to their health bar that tells you which weapon is better. Okay, that's cool. That's a neat idea. There's a ladybug. I don't think they're too dangerous. I see another owl down there. This resin's got to be good for something. Oh, hey! Uh, oh, crunch. That's a lot of ants. Can I run? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to fight him with my club. That's not going to work. What if I can just run away from him? Maybe? Okay, I do have a bandage. I was trying to kill him with my axe. Wrong. Instead of my club. Storm approaches. Seek shelter. Oh, crunch. That's not good. Um, I don't even know where I'm at on the map after running away. Go 
going the right direction to get back. Okay, I see lights over there. Kind of looks like the right path. Yep, there's our owls. There we go. I wonder if we can get shelter here. Well, this stuff respawns fast. That's pretty nice. The storm is broken. Remain sheltered. Okay. A little hern here gives some shelter. Oh, well, that's a nasty storm. Clouds disp disperse and all is all right. All right, so we survived the storm. Now we got nice daylight out. We get some more of these mushrooms to eat. Now I want to, I kind of want to fight some of those ants again and be better prepared. All right, this is the same path we were on. What time is it? Okay, it's like midday. Let's go back down the same path. I want to make sure we didn't miss any owls. We got attacked by ants and had the storm coming and all that stuff going on. What's this? Nothing. Was resin. I hear him. There we go. You got. Oh, hey. I got a little cocky. Now, don't I get any loot from them? No. Um, Alright, I better use my other bandage. They don't do a whole lot. I know, I'm hungry and thirsty. What do I do for water? Oh, there's another ant. Alright. So. Okay, I can't cross this water. What is this? A screw and a big key. Okay. Interesting. I kind of want to get somewhere safe and cook and then maybe our next step is, oh darn it more ants hey okay well I got stuff I got stuff from them I don't know what it is ant skewer campfire okay what I started to say was I kind of want to get somewhere safe and cook. Let's do that. And then our next episode, we'll build. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm hungry and thirsty. I want to go I'm gonna go build a campfire. I'm going to get back up here. Oh, shoot. Another ant. I ran out of energy quick, too. There's another owl. When you dismantle a structure, all the materials used when it was originally built will be dropped and appear as collectible loot. Damaged structures can be repaired at no cost. Okay, that's cool. Don't be coming around whenever I'm reading the owl. Maybe this is where I go. Because there's it's lit up? Is this the proper path? Oh, maybe. Okay, that'd be cool. I just noticed that there's lights here. So maybe this is the proper path to climb this tree. Wouldn't that be nice? 
And I'm gonna get resin all the way up. So, yeah, I cheated a little bit and watched a video. Um, and if you, uh oh. Oh, there's another owl up there, okay. And I think you only have to climb this tree like once. What's this? Oh, food, okay. Let me eat. I needed that. What's this say? Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as some kind of di divinity. Idols, statues, and decorations are crafted in their honor. Okay, we've seen that. Oh, that's the big owl. Okay, maybe this wasn't the tree. This is just a big owl. Okay. Well, I saw the lights coming up here, and I just assumed, you know, that this was the way to go. But that tree over there is the one we need to climb. And when I started to say I cheat a little bit, once you climb that one of those trees, you only have to do it once, and then it brings a little uh, air balloon down to pick you up. So I don't know if it's that tree over there, or it's this tree over here. But I'm going to... I'm going to build a campfire here. If it'll let me. Okay, it'll let me. And then... Um, let's see if I can cook. Grilled grasshopper legs. Mushroom steak. An ant skewer. Ant head. Yes, please. Is it on there? Did it do it that fast? Yeah. Highly seasoned and perfectly roasted. Skewered on a gorse thorn. Nourishment 30. Oh, yeah. That gives a lot of food. Okay. And then our uh, mushroom steak. Do we have like a queue? Sufficient materials. Okay. Or does it just do it that fast? Yeah, right there. Alright, that's awesome. We're regaining health, I see. That's going up a little bit. And then our belly is full, so that's cool. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Um, I'm going to figure out which one of those trees I'm supposed to climb. And then, I thought it was this deal right here, but I see like a little cave, maybe in that one. Uh, but this was just an owl thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this game. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and want to see more. And, then, yeah, the next episode we'll work on building our base. See, there's there's so much over there to see this whole area over here. And uh, we're just touching the surface on this one. I don't know what this what's going on. Is this where we started? I don't know. Maybe. That says spawn. Um, now, I wonder... Actually, I wonder if I have to put a bed down... So I will swell. No, I can't. So I think I'm going to save here. The bed is just, should be just if we die. That's where we respawn. So uh, I'm going to end this one here. I'll gather some more resources and figure out this this tree we're going to climb. That's really cool. I'll make sure and show you guys that in the next episode. And uh, again, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of this game. I'm going to have a blast with it. So, uh, if you like this one, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one of you that subscribes. And connect to me for more episodes of Small Land. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.